What's up guys? Today we're gonna be covering uh, kind of everyday backpack essential. What to bring uh, when you go riding. We got our backpack here. We're gonna fill it up with what you should carry. Let's start over here. First things first, you gotta be safe and you gotta protect your bike. What does that? Bike lock and a grenade, but it serves two duties. This guy, it's a little locked, but it's really small. So it can fit in your pocket or it can fit in a small part of your backpack. I like to carry this in my backpack. You don't know, sometimes you gotta quickly lock up your bike if you're going to 7-Eleven to grab a drink real quick. So it really comes in handy. Throwing this guy in. They're gonna put it in a little pocket. I don't know if it'll fit with the packaging. Oh yeah, this is also a Colt backpack, kind of. by the way, guys. Oh, it does fit. See? Perfect. You guys know what happens when you get a flat and you don't have tools, you have to walk home. It sucks. So, always bring your tools. The Colt tool pack comes with pretty much everything you need to fix your bike on the go. And it comes in a nice little baggie. Okay, so what we got? We got the ratchet. That's not a ratchet, it's just a breaker bar. 17 with an extension. So that's for your wheels, this extension. Where if you have pegs, loosen up your wheel. If you got a flat, pop your whole wheel off. Let's say your bar's moved. One tool. Six mil. Tines up your handlebars and the pinch bolt on your cranks. Most of the time your seat too. And then the eight mil is for the compression on your cranks and your headset. Pretty much everything you need. And it comes with a cool carabiner. It doubles as a spoke wrench. Your wheel's out of true. To tighten everything up. So all that goes in here everything back in the bag and it goes into a bigger bag that could down right there that's for something else i always carry a few tubes on me who knows whether you're gonna get a few flats in the day which has happened so more the better i normally carry around like three or four tubes on me just kind of always staying in my backpack goes in there you need to pump out the tube with something so what do we got shadow makes the perfect mini pump that fits inside your backpack and it's easy to get and it pumps up your tire really quickly. It's called the street pump. See, it fits in there perfectly. I personally have one. I had it for a year plus and it still works perfect. I take it, my back bike travels and it works awesome. So this is my personal one. This is a year of abuse and look it, it still looks brand new. So this guy, in the backpack it goes. I don't know if you guys have a stubborn tire to get off your rim. These guys help a bunch. They're normally really cheap and they help you when you're on the go. Called tire levers. Pop them into your tire, pop the rim, pop them off the rim. Makes life really easy. These fit really easily in the bag. This could go in the small pocket too, because it's a fun. You ever grinded a sticky or ledge or rail? Absolutely sucks. That's what wax is for. We got the merit wax here today. You just butter up a ledge and it'll slide like butter. Um, this is honestly another make or break for a session. Sometimes you find really cool ledges that are untouched. Um, wax helps a lot with grinding. It's just gonna slide really easily. A lot of times your tire screeches on the side, wax up the side of the ledge, and it helps a lot with that too. So, this guy also, in the baggie. Wax is another one of those things, if it melts on a hot day, it's gonna get everywhere. So a lot of times they come in a cool little baggie. I would definitely recommend to keep it in there, if not in a Ziploc bag, that way it keeps everything sealed. My backpack here is designated for wax. That's why it's all beat up. So in there it goes in its own little separate little zone. And last but not least, stickers. Stickers are cool. You could put them anywhere. You could kind of plaster them up with uh, your favorite brands. Another cool thing you could do with them, if you ever get a rip in your tire, you gotta put a few of them inside your tire and it'll help your tire from splitting. So it's kind of a cool on the go trick. It's not really, it won't really get you too far, but it'll help you get to the next gas station or bike shop where you can fix up your tire um, and you look cool on the way go too. And that's about everyday essentials. Let's get riding. Oh God, it stinks. Oh, is that a body? <laughs> we went riding, session didn't last too long. We got a freaking flat, man. What are we gonna do? Only if we prepared for this exact situation. We only had everything in the bag that we needed. So, let's get our tools out. But Max, shouldn't you lock your bike while you're working on it? Oh no, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Let me grab 
my bicycle lock. <laughs> Let's fix this flat. First things first, we'll get our tire levers out. I use two. What you're gonna do, grab your tire, bring it over like that. See how your tire is exposed. Put that in right near the bead, be careful. Well, you're, it's already flat, but don't go too far. Either. You wanna put it right on the edge like that. Sometimes you're gonna be able to get away with one like this. Wow, okay, never mind. I'm gonna get away with two. Pop one side and the other. Just like that, tire is off. Now we're grabbing our tools. Getting our 17 mil for our wheels. Loosen them up, pop the wheel off, and take this blown out tube out. Trash. Now we pump up the new tube. <laughs> Helpful tip, when you're putting in your tube, you wanted to pump it up a little bit. That was, okay, we start. All right, helpful tip. When you're putting in your tube, you wanna pump it up a little bit so it's not still super flat. That way it helps prevent pinching. So, give it a little pump. A little pump, get it? Oh, is that a thorn? <laughs> oh, I got scared for a second. Make sure to get your valve stem all lined up. That's the first thing I put in. And then you get to start stuffing in the rest of the tube. Once the tube's all good, you're gonna be able to put the tire flat against the rim like this. You work your way around, starting with the valve stem. There you go, now we start pumping. Just fast forward this. Make sure the bead's set. I've seen a few people explode tubes because they make sure the bead's not set. So, you see that line? You wanna make sure it's consistent all the way around the rim. Both sides. Functions. Good. All right. Let's get going. Look at it, we're at 40. It's only been what? A minute? I got a good pump per minute. <laughs> you have no calf. <laughs> Where did the calf muscle go? 40 psi. That seems pretty good for me. Pop this sucker off. We'll line it into the fork, put it into the fork. We're all vice down over here. We're gonna put our tools away, tie levers in the tool bag. That way everything stays together. In the bag, this guy, pop it in so it's smaller. In the bag, back to the session we go. Like and subscribe.